More than 40 years have passed since the paths of six people came crashing together at a James Island intersection. My colleague Carolyn Murray caught up with the man who, by listening to his mother, saved the lives of five people. My mother was on the bridge. When she seen me, she started yelling, whooping hard on and screaming. Screams from his mother standing on the Ellis Creek Bridge sent Kenny Moore running. It was March 16, 1977. She's a Kenya car in the water, car in the water. Moore said he could hardly believe what he was seeing. Upside down in the water, a Buick Riviera was resting on its roof. The only thing visible were the car's four tires. The tire was high. Only thing you could see was the four wheels poking out the water. That's all. She, the car was submerged upside down, sitting on, the, on its top. Moore said he jumped into the creek and swam to the car. When you got to that car, what did you see? You couldn't see the water was murky, mur murky and stuff. You'd see nothing. I went down and tried to find the door handle. A strong pull on the door handle and it opened. Inside the car, five teenagers were clinging to life. Billy Truelove, Nancy Ferris, Robert Alley, Kim Jewell, and Susie Bowick had been fighting for small pockets of air. I spoke with Bowick by phone. She's 59 years old now and remembers everything about that day and the man who rescued her and her friends. If it wasn't for him, I would not be alive today. Bowick admits the combination of youth, alcohol, and bad decisions nearly cost them their lives. There, and we were drinking alcohol, and we finished. And the guy, Billy, didn't know the roads very well. She remembers taking what she thought was her last breath of air in that car. She was only 16 years old. And my last breath of air was just a, a small breath of hot air. That was it. I had nothing left. It would be more than 40 years before Bowick and her friends thanked Moore for saving their lives at a reception at Moore's church. For whatever reason, God sent Ken there to save us. Ken is a godsend. Resolutions and citations also honor Kenny Moore's bravery. And soon the intersection at Camp Road and Riverland Drive will bear his name. South Carolina Senator Sandy Sen renamed it to recognize how lives intersected that day. How often do you think about the fact that you saved the lives of five people? Well, I said, well, you know, they were blessed and I was blessed to be in the right place at the right time. 